Hello, everyone. Um, in this video, I would like to do another recording explaining um, what we learned in the previous um, session, uh, which we call Word Unit 2. He ran faster. So, in this unit, you are going to learn some of the following. following uh, point so first you need to understand the learning objective of this unit and after that you're gonna learn some uh, listening sk uh, skill and also grammar skill and also vocabulary and another point is that you are going to learn about some expression yeah everyday English expression and the last part of this unit is writing skill and after uh, this unit i have a quiz for you to uh, practice to check your understanding of the two unit uh, unit one and unit two so let's go to learning objective these are the learning objective that um, i expected to you to learn after this uh, uh, this unit um, first you are going to know and to learn how to make a comparative uh, adjective and superlative adjective and how to use intensifier with comparative adjective and how to use a uh, not as and plus adjective plus as and another grammar point is um, adverbs yeah so you gonna learn uh, what is adverb and how to to form a comparative adverb and the last um, point in learning objective is vocabulary so you are going to learn some words yeah uh, the opposite words antonym and also some words about sports so let's move to listening okay so in this listening first of all um, I would like you to yeah match the name of the sports uh, with the picture here are the name we have number one to number six so the first uh, sport is um, throwing this the discus number two gymnastic number three throwing the javelin number four archery number five volleyball and number six printing so these are the name of the sport and on the right hand side here you can see um, the pictures yeah that um, tell us uh, the name of each sports so you're gonna match the name and the picture so here you can do it at home you can learn you can see the picture and you can search on the internet in order to match it and learn uh, the name of these sports and the second parts are of listening is that you're gonna listen um, to uh, the information here about uh, the Olympic medalist in Beijing 2008 so you're gonna listen to uh, uh, the information and you're gonna complete uh, some of the information about the uh, athlete yeah or uh, we have four uh, people here and first of all Jason Smith and Usain Bolt uh, Stephanie Brown Strafton and Marianne Marianne Marian I'm sorry Marian Bagen Hagen so um, you're gonna listen to the audio that um, 
that talk about their uh, information, their profile, and then you complete the the uh, the important il information about them. Yeah, which is uh, left blank uh, in this uh, pictures here. So you, in order to listen, you just uh, go to this line and click on the listening the listen here yet yeah, you can see the symbol you can click on it and then it will uh, link to a record yeah audio record so you can listen here so you don't need to do anything just click on it and then you can listen so now if you can do it at home by yourself i'm going to the next part um it is grammar so the grammar as um uh, here it's shown that uh, you are going to learn the four following grammar item here. The first one, uh, comparative uh, and superlative adjective, intensifier with comparative and not as as, and adverb and comparative adverb. So let's have a look at comparative and superlative adjective first of all look at the example yeah um, number one smith was slower than bold yeah and number two bold was the fastest runner so here are the two examples that tell us the comparative adjective and superlative adjective so number one is uh, the sentence yeah that is uh, written in sup uh, in comparative adjective and the second one is superlative adjective and this we can see the part the pattern or the form of the two yeah okay so comparative adjective we compare two noun yeah like here the form noun number one plus b plus comparative form and plus then and plus noun number two and for superlative we use noun plus b plus superlative form okay these are the form of the two and and here um, you can use at the rule yeah uh, rule of comparative adjective and superlative adjective so we said use comparative adjective to show how two nouns are different yeah how two nouns are different and use superlative adjective to compare one noun that has the most or the least of certain quality to other noun in group this means that if we just compare a two adjective, we compare two noun, two things, two idea, how it is different, how it is different, yeah, how the two nouns are different, and if we use superlative adjective, we compare one noun to the group or one noun to the other nouns in the group, yeah, we we gonna compare whether it is the most it has the most quality or it has the least quality just like this example yeah we we have uh, here smith was a slower sorry smith was slower than bold so here we compare smith and bold only two person two people i'm sorry two people smith and bold so we compare who is the fast who is the slower yeah so if if we say that smith is so slip smith was slower than ball it means that ball is faster than smith and the second one uh, the second sentence ball was the fastest runner here we compare the uh, ball to the rest of the runner a ball holding the record as the fastest runner in in history or as the fastest runner in the world only him who is the fastest yeah okay so here is how we compare we can compare 
ourselves to the member of of our family for example i am the youngest uh i am the youngest son in the family yeah so this is how we compare we we, we use adjective com- sorry superlative adjective to compare to the other noun and talk about the rule the rule here we talk about uh the form yeah comparative form and superlative form so let's look at the first rule okay here is the first rule we have four rule and this is the first rule um so we talk of when we talk about rule or comparative and superlative form we talk about the spelling how we um, add er or est to uh, the adjective to uh, to to make it to form uh, superlative and and comparative. So here is the rule: a add er or est to one noun, sorry, one syllable adjective. So you can see here, these are one syllable adjective. We have fast, we have hard, we have strong, and to make to to form a, a comparative adjective, we add er. It's become faster, harder, and stronger, and to make it to become a superlative adjective, we add est. So fastest, hardest, and strongest, and have a look at this. For one syllable adjective that's in in a vowel plus consonant, double the consonant. This is the spelling that most of the students have problem. Yeah, they forget another consonant. Just like it um, in this example, you have to follow this rule. Big and hard. It's one syllable adjective and it ends in. For example, big it's n in i and g. This is vowel plus consonant. So we gonna add one g. Yeah. So it become double g here, and then we add er. This is comparative form and uh, superlative form. We double letter g and then add est. The same thing with hard because hard its form. It's end in O as a vowel plus consonant T. So it's become harder like this one. Yeah, we double uh, consonant T. And hard test. Another one to notice for um, one syllable adjective. Don't double the consonant W. So if the adjective end in W, you don't need to double it. You just add er or est low it's become lower and lowest like this okay so now let's have a look at um, rule number two it says um, remove divide and add I E R or I E S T to the two syllable adjective ending in Y. So for two syllable adjectives that ends in Y, you gonna remove or omit Y and add I E R to comparative form and add I E S T to form superlative adjective. And we have another here example funny, funnier, funniest, heavy, heavier, and heaviest, easy, easier, and easiest. These are the two syllable adjective ending in Y. There are some other adjectives that end in Y. But uh, this is just only some example for you. Okay. So uh, let's continue to rule number three. Um, it's talk about 
two or more syllable adjective okay so it says use more or most with most adjectives that have two or more syllable for example hard working hard working is three syllable adjective three syllable adjective beautiful so it's also three syllable adjective intelligent intelligent how many it four four syllable adjectives so to form comparative adjective we add more before the adjective so it's become more hardworking more beautiful and more intelligent and to form superlative adjective we add most actually the most yeah before the adjective it become the most hardworking the most beautiful and the most intelligent so these are the rule yeah rule number three so let's have a look at rule number four spelling rules okay for rule number four it says some comparative adjectives are irregular it means that it changed the form it changed the form we do not add e o or est or we do not add more or most to the adjective but it changed the words like best it become better better is comparative form of good and superlative form of good is best yeah bad become worse and worst yeah worse and worst much it's um, become more and most for little i'm um, sorry this one little less and least okay so that's all for spelling rule we have these four spelling rules so um, you can see the slide you can get um, you can note take notes more at uh, by yourself and if you want to see the form here just click on it yeah click on uh, this button yeah mm -hmm. this button you're gonna see the form yeah and you want you want to know you want to see the rule you click on number one number two to see the rule yeah until number four yeah and you can take note it on on your book maybe it's easy to read or something okay so let's move on to practice okay so this is the practice of comparative and superlative we learn how to use it after we learn the rule we learn the form um, this um, exercise you can try it by yourself you can either scan use your phone to scan the QR code or you can click on this yeah button here to find out and to do it in the in the um, you know the website here which is linked to the exercise so complete it yeah complete the sentence with the correct comparative and superlative form okay after you do it you can check your understanding yeah you can try to you can redo it to to know that you are learning it okay so you can do it at home by yourself i'm going to continue yeah to the next point yes how to use com intensifier with comparatives so what is intensifier yeah so it says use intensifiers such as match far a lot a bit and a little with comparative adjective why we use it intensify we try to make it yeah bigger it's we try to make it uh, stronger or we try to make it lesser so we also have a comparative which is tell the different but we, if we want to know how much it is different or how far it is different when we describe the noun yeah when we compare the noun so we use this um five 
intensifier to help yeah just like in this example okay the red bag is a bit or a little so you can use either one a bit or a little more expensive than the green one yeah it is more expensive the red bike is more expensive than the green one but how how much or oh, how much it it is far more expensive or it is a bit more expensive so this is this way we can use identifier to have so yeah a bit or a little yeah to show the uh, yeah the level it's just a small level or smaller amount of money that the red bike is more expensive than the green one and another one we use much and far and a lot yeah much or far or a lot um, to compare uh, the age of these two people Nick and Will so Nick much far or is sorry next is much older or far older or a lot older than will so this is how we we use an intensifier so far you can look at these two, uh, two people yeah will is a young one a young guy is a young man but nick isn't is the older is the senior citizen and the age if we compare the, their age very much different okay that's why we use intensifier plus uh, comparativity to like this okay so you learn you can learn to use this uh, intensifier in this uh, practice exercise you can try to do it yeah by yourself look at the example here it compared uh, watching tv and reading a uh, reading a book with uh, by using interesting and easy so they use i think watching tv is a lot more interesting than reading a book so compare watching tv and reading a book the the two activity yeah and it is far easier too so yeah Watching TV is easy. Yeah, you can sleep. You can, sorry, you can lay down yourself, your body to watch it. Or you can yes, just do whatever you want when you watch TV. But maybe reading a book, you need to pay attention to the words, yeah, to the meaning of the, the reading. Yeah. So you can do yeah more practice with this exercise. Okay, so let's move to the next point. Okay, we learn how to use not as and as. So here, look at the rule. Not as and as shows that two ideas are not similar. Yeah, two ideas are not similar. It means less than. It means less than. Oh, the, uh, example, I am not as smart as my sister. It means that I am less smart than my sister. Less smart than my sister. This is uh, the meaning, but look at another use. Use not as as instead of less with short adjective such as bad easy high great big yeah smart um and other short adjective or one syllable adjective my brother is not as tall as my father it means that my brother is shorter than my father okay so this is how we use it we to come to say that two idea two thing two people are different Okay, or are, are not similar. Okay, look at the example. Answer the question. Smith isn't as fast as Paul, and Smith is as fast as an ordinary athlete. 
Number one, who is the fastest, Smith or Bolt? Yeah, Bolt is the fastest. Yeah, sorry. Who, who is faster? I'm sorry here with with some error. So who is faster? It's Bolt. Yeah, Bolt is faster. Yeah. Mean it's it mean that if we write like this, Smith isn't as fast as Bolt. It mean that. Smith is less fast than Bowl. Is less fast than Bowl. I'm sorry. Okay. So, in short, Bowl is faster than Smith's. Yeah, if we write like this. But this one, Smith is as fast as an ordinary as like It means that Smith and ordinary people has the same speed. Or they can run as fast as each other, yeah. Okay, the same, the same thing. They can run fast, the same way. Okay. Okay. So this is how we use not and s plus adjective plus s. Okay. So next things that you're gonna learn adverb. We talk about adverb. So. Look at the rule. Use comparative adverbs to compare the way people do the same action. It means that we compare two people do the same action. So action here we refer to the verb. Yeah, how they do thing. Verb, the verb, the action. How is it the same or is it different? Is it, for example. Uh, put two people ran, two people ran. So, who ran faster? Who ran faster? So, for example, I ran faster than my brother. So, I ran faster here. Faster is the comparative adverb. I ran faster. Okay. Another one. To form most of regular adverbs, add the words more before the adverb. Add the verb, the word more. Sorry, here the words, not the. Word. Add the word more before the adverb. Some comparative adverbs add er or i er to the adverb, and other change completely if the comparative adverbs that add er and iel it's take the form of comparative adjective the same thing it means that um we form the comparative adverb from the adjective by adding er or I O. So the same thing, the same form, the same spelling as comparative adjective that we learned in the previous section. Okay, here is the form. Yeah, you can see. We form most of re regular adverbs from adjective plus L Y. So most regular adverb we form it by uh from Adjective plus ly. Okay, if just like um, we have um, complete, complete, yeah, complete is the adjective. So we form it to um, adverb. We add ly, so it become completely. Okay, quick is an adjective. So we form an adverb, regular adverb. We add ly to um, to the adjective. Quick, it become quickly. Slow, slow is an adverb. We form it's sorry. Slow is the adjective. So we form it. Uh, we form it to to become to to adverbs. We 
at ly so it becomes slowly okay so for this are uh, number two are some of irregular compared to adverbs like goods it become better bad has become worse worse okay okay so okay here is a practice so in order to practice uh, compared to adverbs and adverbs here you can click here yeah click on this button or you can scan in order to practice it okay to learn more okay because if we just reading the rule we can re we just reading the theory without practice we cannot learn much okay so let's move to the next point of the units okay vocabulary here antonym and sports so antonym the opposite words okay so you you going you are going to complete the opposite words the opposite meaning of um, these uh, words just like bad it's actually it's good okay good bad good difficult it's easy yes yeah, slow it quick yeah boring exciting okay cheap expensive okay and so on so you can do it you can learn more you can learn this um, t antonym the different uh, the the opposite words of these 10 words so you can complete it by yourself okay so next it's sports okay sport it's about sports so here we have um, it's I get it from the book okay I have a book and I just read some of the important words here so you can see the bold word they are the champions so champions when you win something you are champions so here the word yeah England won yeah champions for you okay let's go back to here so they are the champion champion mean the meaning in Khmer is uh, what mm, yeah net the chne yeah you hai net the chne net the chne kuji champion okay hi England one two one so one here it's from the word the word win yeah minita chne yeah chne b tolung mui okay uh, it's about uh, football here okay England lost yeah lost it from the word lose three nil okay three and nil is zero okay okay lost minute chang I nil ku minute zero so okay by so it was a draw a draw here mean it it means equal yeah smile yes my for example uh zero and zero one and one okay one one zero zero that's we call drawing in football yeah this okay australia beat south africa so beat here when it's a huge near yeah huge near and the u.s came second came second came or be calm okay calm second man it's a band uh, lake b band lake b band lake b in the canon terang okay okay um the coach coach here we refer to manager yeah the the one who train this the player yeah player okay referee referee uh yeah and yagadal and sent off sent off here uh, it may not give a red card to a player sent off sent off the pitch they cannot play okay okay so that's that's all for the sport the verb and nouns about sport here you can learn more yep and continue okay uh, some other um vocabulary it's extra vocabulary so you're gonna learn drama uh, workshop mark disability complain about something uh, grub grump sorry, enthusiastic and improvise improvise so let's match um, uh, these words yeah with the definition yeah a to h 
so you can do it you can try to yeah or check dictionary look up for the meaning of the word or you can guess it and up to that you can check the answer here yeah okay so first of all check the and try to do it and after that you can check the answer here the answer yeah so next yeah next it's everyday english in this part you can to learn some of the expression yeah the expression it's a good expression for everyday conversation here are the expression yeah number one sort of thing guess what we are talking about um, an awful lot of that's not the point at the end of the day yes okay these are the expression that we use in everyday conversation in english okay so learn this by completing the dialogue because the meaning can change yeah can change from from uh, according to the context that you are using this one so to practice uh, you can scan this one or you can yeah check here okay you can scan this QR code to practice on your mobile phone or you can click here yeah it's gonna link to the practice okay so do it by yourself go to going to next one it's writing okay it's writing mm -hmm. okay this you are going to learn uh, from a writing report yeah about a sport event which is written by harry yeah harry so um you can read the report and answer the, the following question yeah what kind of is event was it um when and where was it how did the team play yeah and play a play who scored the goal for portugal uh, what was the final score and did harry have a good time why and why not okay so read here yeah this is the report yeah so it's has um there are three paragraph yeah so you can read the first paragraph and which is tell you the setting yeah where the event happened um what is the event yeah about and then um the feeling here okay or what happened during sorry what happened during the event so they uh he harris gave a brief uh, uh description of what happening in the event and the last one harry tell his feeling yeah his feeling about the events so you gonna read this more by yourself and try to answer the question uh, in exercise a and exercise b yeah okay um read again and match the topic with three paragraph a b c say so we have three paragraph and how we have uh yeah three we can say heading the heading of the paragraph also three uh which is uh, number one what is it about we, or what is uh the 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 read the writing match yeah what happened at the event yeah which paragraph uh, harry opinion of the event which paragraph okay um you can do it um yourself by yourself okay and after that you are going to do this homework yeah um actually in the previous session we are not uh, uh come to this uh, we are not at this we were not at this uh, exercise yet but in this uh, uh, recording uh, i'm going to do uh, it's yeah something over what we we learn yeah and now you can see here the homework write a report for your school magazine about a sport event you watch in the past or 
use Harry, yeah, use Harry's report and the question to help you. Here, include the following information in your writing note. Um, now I make an adjustment to this exercise. You can think of any event that you went to in the past, and then try to write a report for me. Yeah. So in the first paragraph, you should include general information about the event. Yeah. Um, where, when, uh, where and when, um, the event take place. Yeah. And what what is the event about? Okay, that is a general. And after that, in paragraph two, you gonna you gonna what um write about uh what happened at the e at the event? What are the people doing? What are you doing? What were you doing? What were people doing during the the event? Okay. Uh, whatever you can write, it's free for you. The topic you can choose, okay. And number three, your opinion of the event. How do you feel? Yeah, express your feeling of the event that you went to, okay. So this is the exercise. You can do it, and um, if we meet next time, I just um, do a brief explanation on that, and then you can write it, okay. And the last things in this unit, yeah, unit 2 has already ended now. And this is something that you do it, you practice at home. Your progress check, you check your progress. So it includes unit 1 and unit 2, grammar and unit 1 and grammar and unit 2. Also vocabulary from unit 1 and unit 2. Um, it is in this um, progress check okay you can do it in your your textbook okay or you can do it here but when you do it here I can see how uh, how how do you understand the 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 exercise yeah how ma how much score did that you get and after you do it screenshot the score the final score that you get from from this um, exercise this quiz yeah so you can scan the QR code or you can click on start in order to do the exercise okay it's gonna link to the progress check exercise here yeah we have how many yeah A B C D E yeah so yeah try to complete it and up to that check when you complete it click check and then screenshot or take a photo of the score that you get yeah and send me yeah I already okay after you check the answer you got the answer and click check you're gonna upload here yeah practice um progress check here yeah mm -hmm. so you're gonna upload here okay you click view, yeah. You click view as a student. You gonna see, uh, where, uh, to upload, uh, the photos, yeah, of your access, your practice, uh, progress check here. Okay, so I think um, that's all for um, this video, and thank you for watching. And if you wanna see more with the O, then you can go to um, to see to watch this this video again. You can go to Google Classroom. Yeah, I'm going to uh, drop it here. Yes, yeah, somewhere here. Okay. Yeah, somewhere in video recording, so you can get the link from the YouTube and watch it again so thank you for watching and see you in see you on the next sec section session that we're going to meet at the end of, at um, on this weekend okay so thank you and bye bye